Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Urban Libertarian here, and uh, I've got to talk about this obvious fake story from the creepy porn lawyer, Michael Avenetti. Uh, it is ridiculous. Even uh, Kavanaugh today was saying it's out of uh, Twilight Zone. I mean, uh, it, this is absolutely ridiculous, and I can't believe the media is going... I mean, I guess I can believe the media, but, you know, this... The good news is, is this discredits... If not that this, all of these allegations were highly likely to be bullshit. You just look at the timing of it, how they held on to it. There's nothing's adding up. It's just so obvious. They they are just willing to do whatever it takes. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, and they really are doing uh, women a disservice and people who have been um, unfortunately uh, sexually assaulted, raped, molested, whatever, you know. And obviously, I got to put a disclaimer um, before I even say anything. Uh, everybody who you know who has a credible story has a right to be believed. Okay, people with bullshit stories have have no you know should not be believed. And this story is complete bullshit. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, and if it is true, then the girl, this girl Julie Steinwick, I mean, she's guilty of some crime herself. Okay, so this is straight from the creepy porn lawyer's mouth himself. It's on his Twitters. Okay, so she explain. This is her deposition, or uh, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, what it's it's a dep. Anyway, it's a sworn testimony, and um, if it's not true, allegedly she commits perjury. So uh, you know. Okay, so she met uh, Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh in 1981. Okay, so if right there, um, she's only talking about these two guys. Obviously, as you'll see, she should be mentioning a lot of other people in her testimony, but she's not. Uh, she blah, 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 Washington Street, D.C. area, extremely close friends in the 80s. I knew them, interacted with them. I would describe them as joined at the hip. I constantly saw them together in many social settings, blah, blah, blah. There's no question in my mind that Mark Judge has significant information concerning the conduct of Brett Kavanaugh during the 1980s, especially as it relates, relates to actions towards women. So right there, that's a red flag. That sentence, it's... it's uh, it's so weighted. It's so like you could tell it has an agenda towards women. So they want to get women riled up. Okay. Following that first introduction, somebody who introduced you to them. Okay. I attended, and she, granted, sh this girl graduated high school in 1980. Okay. I attended well over 10 house parties in the Washington, D.C. area during the years of 81 to 83. Okay. So where she's, so she's a, in college and she's going to high school house parties. Where Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh were present, okay. But what about all? There's there must have been a lot of other people. If you remember this, these two guys. Who else do you remember? These parties were a common occurrence in the area and occurred nearly every weekend during the school year, the high school year, which you didn't attend. Weird. On numerous occasions at these parties, I witnessed Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh drink excessively and engage in highly inappropriate conduct, including being overly aggressive with girls and not taking no for an answer. Okay, so you're an adult going to underage parties. Where are they getting the alcohol? Did you provide the alcohol? Where's the alcohol coming from? This conduct included the fondling and grabbing of girls without their consent. Yet you still kept going to parties with these guys. Now, I'm not saying, look, nobody needs to, be oh, you can't believe them and stuff or whatever. But, like, if you're going to a party, if I went to a party where dudes were grabbing a bunch of dudes and I did not, obviously I don't want to be grabbed by guys, I'd only go to one party, and it wouldn't last that long. I'd leave. I'd be like, "Dude, this is messed up. Dudes are grabbing other guys. What the fuck? I don't. I'm out." Later, I wouldn't can go to like ten parties over the years, and it gets worse. I, I would especially leave after you're about to hear what happens here. I observed Brett Kavanaugh drink excessively at many of these parties and engage in abusive and physical aggressive behavior towards girls, including pressing girls against him without their consent, grinding against girls and attempting to remove or shift girls' clothing to expose bo private body parts. So she's an adult at, at an underage drinking party watching kids allegedly try to molest each other. She still keep, doesn't say anything, keeps going to them. What does that say about you? What does that say about this lady? If this is even true, which is it's bullshit. I likewise observed him be verbally abusive toward girls by making crude sexual comments to them that were designed to demean Humiliate and embarrass them. This is all designed to piss women off. And women. 
And and I've seen this. The Democrats and Republicans are split on this. I mean, it does. You don't have to be a Democrat or Republican to be split on this. You just have to understand the truth. It doesn't matter. Same thing with like on the Democrats, like the Cory Booker and all that other stuff. Of, yeah, you know, I don't know that. I'm not that. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But um, there's people with much more evidence than this on the Democrat side, and nobody's saying anything about it. And they believe they believe they don't believe the woman, you know. And it's like, what the heck? That's not right. Like people. We shouldn't be partisan about this. This should just be like facts and like just truth. Holy crap, but the left doesn't believe in truth. All right, so it gets this it, we're just getting juicy here, okay? So anyway, so so he's demeaning girls, right? And specific girls, generals, blah blah blah. I also witness Kavanaugh behaves a mean drunk at these parties. But you keep going to all these parties where people, girls are getting groped and it gets worse. I've been told by other women, who are these women, that this conduct also occurred during the summer months in Ocean City in Maryland on numerous occasions. So this is all hearsay. I also witnessed, hearsay of hearsay, I also witnessed such conduct on the occasion in Ocean Beach during Beach Week. <laughs> I have reviewed Brett Kavanaugh's recent claim on Fox News regarding his alleged innocence during high school years and sexual activity. This claim is absolutely false and a lie. Okay. FBI's wrong and he just, okay. I witness Brett Kavanaugh consistently engage in excessive drinking and appropriate contact sexual name. I mean, she's repeating herself. Okay, so here's where it gets juicy. So during the years of 81 and 82, I became aware of efforts by Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh and others to spike the punch at house parties. I attended with drugs and or alcohol so as to cause girls to lose their inhibitions and their ability to say no. But I thought, but before you girls were saying no, and they would say, take no for an answer, you said you saw Brett Kavanaugh, right, with girls, and, and he would, he would, they wouldn't take no, so you, these girls said no, but now they can't say no. I'm confused. Which one is it? It's, it's just bullshit. Okay, so here's, it's just, so she continually goes to these parties where girls are getting raped. This caused me to make an effort to purposely avoid the punch at these parties. Okay, so you still go to these parties, but you just don't drink the punch, and you, okay, I witness efforts by Mark Judge and Brett Kavanaugh and others, but who are these others? Why don't you name these other people to target particular girls so they could be taken advantage of? It was usually a girl that was especially vulnerable because she was alone at the party or shy. Well, shit, girl, if they're just sp spiking the punch, isn't all, aren't all the girls going to be? I don't think you have to target anybody. If you're putting dope drugs in the punch, everybody's going to get jacked up. I also witness efforts by Mark Judge, Brett Kavanaugh, and others to cause girls to become inebriated and disorientated so they could be gang raped in a side room or bedroom by a train of new oh my god so you're watching boys molest girls giving them alcohol and drugs and you just keep going to these parties and you don't do anything again what does that say about this lady what is that it's just come on she, I, I believe that's isn't that con contributing to the delinquency of a minor I mean, maybe she gave them the the booze. Even if she did, if she didn't, if you know that there's booze and and knockout rape drugs and girl boy underage boys, oh my god! And they're not doing anything. She doesn't do anything. She comes out now to the creepy porn lawyer. What are you talking about? I have firm recollection of seeing boys lined up. I think I said this to, to many of the parties waiting their turn with a girl inside the room. These boys include Mark Judge. So here she is, an adult. Hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, how's your party going? That's just like all the other ones. That's just like the fifth party this year. And yeah, the guys are lined up again to, to rape the girls. And I'm just hanging out. Don't drink the punch. What? 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 Are you kidding me? In approximately 82, I became the victim of one of these gang or train rapes where my, were present. Now, I'm not trying to say a woman is asking for it. I'm just saying, dude, if you're going to known gang rape parties where dr <laughs> women are being drugged, I'm going to have to say you're kind of... It, that's why this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense. Can you please... Somebody help me here. This is not making any sense. Okay, so in 82, she somehow becomes the victim where these guys were present. And shortly after the incident, they, so they didn't do anything. They were present, right? She doesn't, she doesn't give any details. They were just there. Shortly after the incident, I shared what had transpired with at least two other people who, 
Who are these people? During the incident, I was incapacitated without any consent and unable to fight off the boys raping me. I believe I was drugged with quaaludes or something similar in place to what I was drinking. <laughs> I'm under the wear of the truthfulness, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I declare I'm not lying. <clears throat> Why would you continue to go to these parties? Why would you? It doesn't make any sense. Unless, like, unless, unless it's kind of like, you know, there's a story in Korea. Check this out. It's very interesting. It was called the, um, I don't know what era it was, but it, it's the, it was, uh, essentially what happened is that girls or princesses or, you know, girls who were married to, like, old men, they get, oh, here it is. I know the story. So when a woman would have an arranged marriage to like somebody she didn't like, and it was just not, I don't know, they were an alcoholic or the guy was old and fat, whatever it was, it wasn't working out. They would have themselves um, kidnapped and they would literally roll the women up in a carpet and take them away. And the women were knowingly being taken away by their captors and they paid them. Now, I don't know. The only other theory, unless it, this is story's bullshit, is if this girl is... If this woman is just some kind of sexual pervert weirdo and, and is willingly going to these parties, because so that's what I'm reading into, she's willingly going to these parties where kids are raping each other. I mean, holy crap, this lady's... We, she should be prosecuted for this if this is real. <laughs> Which it's not. Because it doesn't make any sense. She's she Or she's really into it and she 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 liked watching or hang obviously i mean you go to parties for you don't have to go to a party right <laughs> nobody's making you go to a party so she likes going to like weird underage kid rape parties okay all right and then unfortunately she it happened to her wow and and mind you this is a creepy porn lawyer behind this so this doesn't make any sense um and i saw this i don't know how i found this but this is actually really cool i'm going to check this out the powerline blog um, it just goes on. It's it's it basically they break down what I'm saying. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, I, I I like this. So Miss, she says she continued attending these drunken depraved parties. Her idea of a good time apparently, <laughs> but she avoided the punch. Right, and eventually it happened to her in '82. Not by Kavanaugh or Judge, of course. Sadly, she did think the report the serial gang rapes, including her own, to the police back in '82. But hey, better late than never. I mean, for what it's worth, Steinwick doesn't actually accuse Brett Kavanaugh of any wrongful conduct as to herself. Oh, my God. So, here, I like this. Steinwick graduated from high school in 80, right? Kavanaugh in 83. She had to place her in purported gang rape in 82 in order to coincide with Kavanaugh's high school years. If she had placed it when herself was in high school, Kavanaugh would have been around 14. She also claims to have been a college student attending high school parties. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Steinwick's story is absurd on its face. That's, I mean, come right right so i doubt that anyone actually believes it i mean anybody anybody but that hardly matters the headlines will scream that that this is the point it hardly matters it doesn't that's the sadness about now we live in a day and age where you can just say retarded dumbass shit dumb shit dumbass shit oh blah 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 right i could go on and on about all the dumb shit that's going on and just that's all it takes. Headlines and the media, the propaganda media is just going to suck it up. And mainstream and the uh, alternative media has now been compromised. So we see, we here we see the fruits of Senate Republicans improve. Oh my God, hold on. Improvident decision to reopen Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing and push back the vote on his nomination. To be fair, that decision has been dictated by squishy members of the GOP. Yeah, the GOP is just ridiculous. I, I don't doubt that the Democrats can scrape up a couple of more obviously false stories if they are given a little bit more time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, but it's just obviously BS. So, all right. Uh, I'm going on and on. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, oh, one more, one more. Because that's that's what I wanted to get into. Uh, so this is Newsbusters. Great, great, web, great website. Uh, TV news is rigged against Brett Kavanaugh, obviously. Um, the majority of it was is negative is negative comments. Um, so during the 12 days since Democratic Feinstein Public announced existence of blah, 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 new shows have spent nearly six hours regurgitating various unproved allegations, right? But only a tiny percentage of that coverage, a measly 8% has been devoted to Kavanaugh's denial so the lack of corroboration for his accusers' accounts. Okay, and it just goes on and on and it breaks it down. 
um, how the false reports and they barely put any, you know, any type of, um, it's, it's totally skewed. I, I'm not even go through it. You can check it out if you want, but just a, as an example, um, it's so bad and they do this with Trump. They do it with anybody else who dares, uh, goes against them. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm sure you guys aren't brainwashed. Uh, tell your friends.